Hello everybody once again and welcome to yet another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio. Here still uh, running around trying to get Angel Bobs up and running and I think I've done a reasonably good job so far. So let's have a think about what we were doing in the last episode shall we? I remember there's all this playing around with mud here, um, making various different types of mud, making um, clay bricks and making lime and so on and so forth. But other than that, let's see, uh, down here I had these uh, Mark II drills and they were being scattered around all over the base so up here we've got a lot more um, resources coming out than we had before. I think I sped up the lead mining up here as well. That's actually still kind of stuck because of all the coal. Um, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I might need to do something about that. Tin mining. Oh, tin has clearly got itself completely backed up. That's great. That means I'm producing enough of it. Lead as well actually is starting to back up quite nicely, at least on one side of the belt. Excellent. Maybe I should put in another um, couple of warehouses. That was the Oh, that was the other thing I put in. I put in a warehouse here for the um, for the stone bricks because I had so much stone coming through I didn't have a thing to do with it all um, and then another one down here for the copper to ensure that this area keeps running at full speed because I'm, I was not making enough steel and actually now as I look at this again it's still not making enough um, there's still not enough iron flowing out to uh, produce enough steel so that's now down to the um, these sorters here they yes yeah, so they seem to be running flat out they've got more than enough stuff on their input belts so it looks like of course yes that was what I was doing last episode. I was making I was making mud in order to make those bricks, in order to make faster um, faster sorters, faster crushers, faster everything of those sort of things. The Mark II versions of them, in fact. So if I run over here, let's grab those bricks. 166. What will that get? So up up there at the top, it was the excuse me, ah sorting, not sorter. So I need some um, basic electronic boards, and then I need to go and rip up those all sorting facilities. That seems easy enough. I've just realised this isn't going to work because here we've got both types of circuits coming in and yet up here and down here we only actually want one of them. Now it seems I've got lucky so far and the right sort have been coming through but I can't really tell the difference between them because they're all yellow. Oh no, this is far enough upstream that there's only one type of them there. It's down here that we're creating um, belts of both types of circuit board on. And yes, they do look slightly different. You can see the, um, the resistors that have been put on one side of these. Okay, that's not so bad then. I can tell the difference, but it's still going to be something I'm going to have to be very careful about further down. Make sure I either have a full belt so it's got both types on on uh, on it like this one, or actually put in a filter as well just to make sure I only get the right sort of belts through, uh, right sort of circuit boards through. Anyway, for now it was these ones I needed. So does that now mean I can build all sorting facilities? Yes, it's just the Mark 1s I don't have enough for, and that apparently is stone bricks and iron. But if I'm going to go up there and rip them out of the ground anyway, then it doesn't really matter that I haven't got the right the right resources to build the Mark 1 versions. So, up here, let's pull up a couple of these. One, two. I'm out of steel. Okay, what's getting damaged? Just the walls. Okay, I'm not worried about that for now. I'm just going to cut this for now, so I can grab all the steel off there in a moment as it comes out. Don't let me forget to put that back. Oh, I need 60 steel. Okay, that's going to take a while to produce. Uh, still, for the time being, I can put this one in. Why is... Oh, okay, there. Power. So that one goes there. Tell it to do the same as that one. I was going to say they look exactly the same, but no, there's a bit of a difference in the icons here and here, but, pe that, but they basically look very, very similar. That's interesting. I was expecting them to be blue because of the, um, the icons on here, but I guess that's just... Well, just here. So that should be crushing at about the same speed that it was before, because um, 1 Mark II is the same as 2 Mark I's, I think? Oh no, not quite. It's gone from 0.75 to 1, so it's only a little bit faster. That's a shame. I also noticed that I'm running out of power again, so that's something else I'm going to have to do in this episode. Is that enough steel? No. Still only on uh, 22 out of the 30... S no, 22 out of the 60 I need? Let's go away and do something about the power supply. I think that's basically just going to mean sticking another set of boilers and steam engines on the uh, existing coal supply. If there's even room for it. No, there isn't room for it. Okay, so that's going to mean a new pump and another power supply system. Or I could put them on the other side of these, I suppose, for now. Yeah, I probably don't need that um, radar at the moment. So let's build up some boilers. This, of course, takes steel. How much do I have? 46. Let's stick with the um, the iron ones for now because I can. Uh, they're a bit more affordable. And I'm going to need a offshore pump, and I'm going to need a large quantity of pipes. Now, somewhere down here, I'm already building pipes. Here we go. That's quite a lot. Let's put some of them back. Tin is completely backed up. That's excellent. So up here, steam engines and boilers, and there we have some more power. 
this area is all getting a bit crowded now because it's all far too close to well pretty much everything I think at some point let's see this area down here will be suitable or perhaps all the way over here um, I would need to run the coal down to it of course but it's a nice reasonably open area that's away from all of the uh, all the rest of the factory hopefully at some point I'll have um, nuclear of course but that I imagine is a very very long way off is that enough power yes it is not by an enormous margin but it is enough power okay back over to the Jeeva light mine now and let's try and find some more uh, steel so I can get everything running a bit better hopefully it's made a decent amount of it there we go and that would be refining oh, I'm out of clay bricks again already for goodness sake <laughs> these advanced versions are very very resource hungry maybe I should be um, belting all of this stuff in and then making them on uh, in uh, in um, factories on the bus in fact I need quite a lot of sorters and smelters uh, sorters and crushers and things don't I so I think that might actually be a good idea that's a three-step process for the crushers and then a two-step for the uh, sorters yeah let's finish these ones off manually because I am going to need that steel coming through so how's this doing to be honest it looks about the same <laughs> but then it's also limited by this system along here Maybe it's time to also upgrade these belts. Have I got a, yes, I've got a decent number of yellow belts available. Tin, right, and um, I really do look forward to having bots to do all this hard work of running backwards and forwards across the map for me. I should get underground belts. Um, Mark II underground belts running on automatically as well, because having to do all make it um, the the splitters rather automatically because having to make them all by hand is a bit of a, a bit of a faff and a bit a bit silly to be honest especially when it takes this long one there one there okay that's pushing all that through a bit quicker now the iron refineries are even keep actually the iron furnaces are now practically um, saturated I might even need to add some more on that's that's absolutely excellent and I think they're they are just about keeping up it's probably close enough anyway it's they're producing a whole half belt on the output here this is again actually something else I could replace with a, um, a faster belt because there's only I'm only using half because it's um, I've got a, a gray belt feeding onto an and onto a half belt here it's actually reducing the capacity quite a bit so if I increase the speed of this one then that is yellow twice the speed 30 15 yes yellow is twice the speed so at this, this point here, this belt, the Im input from this belt is equal to the output on this belt even though this one's only using half of it because it's twice as fast. So that means I can actually pull a full grey belt, half grey belt down each side of here if I can get this full yellow belt. In fact the full yellow belt is now being consumed. Something slowed down. Yes, I'm now limited by um, other factors. So this is this belt here I think so let's upgrade this one except I've run out of these okay so now that's pulling through twice as quickly um, this should clearly be a, um, a splitter at this point joining these two up I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place it's just lazy really and that'll pull much more evenly from this belt and the and therefore these miners I can pull these two up because they're empty. Okay, good. Having that extra Jeeva light pumping through here is now um, completely filling the uh, completely filling this is, is meaning all these crushers are now running flat out. It seems to know doesn't isn't quite fast enough for these sorters though, and there's still plenty of extra capacity on the belts down here. So I think that means I need to start making some Mark II crushers as well. Do I have the parts left for that? No, I'm out of steel. Okay, but apart from that, I can make, well, certainly one. Let's grab a little bit more steel. Oh no, I opened that up again. Two more. Right. I did say I was going to um, automate this assembly, and I should probably do that. Oh, I built a Mark 1 crusher as well. <laughs> no wonder it's taking a while. Ding! And here, this one's struggling to output all of its um, resources as well. That looks to me like I need to have it going up here like that and like that. Yes, there we go, that's better for this one. This one's already okay like that, I think. Um, and that I'm splitting the output between two of the uh, two sides. Uh, I'm splitting the output from the middle crusher onto both sides of the belt. Oh, what's being 
over here. Oh dear. Oh, that's about to go. Oh no, not quite. Right, I need to get down there and fix that up. Because <laughs> that's going to get destroyed in the next um, biter attack. So I'm going to need some more turrets down there. I've got a couple of turrets. Can I build any more? No. What do I need? I need iron. Probably copper if I try and make too many of them. Okay, let's have five of each of those. Let's check the defences along here for any damage as well while I'm going past. This part's all fine and hunky-dory. I've obviously got enough guns along here. I have not got enough guns along here. Down here appears to be okay. Alright, so it's just this one here in the middle where there, um, there's heavy attacking happening. I think what I'm going to do here is pull the ammo belt a bit further back so I can stick some more... <laughs> the air sniper turret is making quick work of those. Yeah, so I can stick some more um, guns along along here. And I'm going to put some sniper turrets in along here as well because there isn't very much space to put the turrets in. So I think they could do with a bit of... Um, a bit of backup. It's not quite long enough that if I put it in the um, cleft of this rock formation it's going to be able to take out that base, is it? <laughs> Shame. So I don't think it is. Let's try it. No, definitely not. But having a few of these scattered around on the back, back end here certainly isn't going to hurt. At the very least it'll thin the ranks out before they get close. Oh, and there was the thing I did on the other, the other um, session, wasn't there? Up here where I had all these dragon's teeth and they do seem to do quite a good job of slowing the biters down. I could do that over here. It's time consuming, but hey, I can speed it up to about a million times normal speed, so, so you, yeah, hey, at least you guys won't get bored. Now ideally I want to build out... so which are the spitters? That's these ones, isn't it? I probably want to build out as about as far as they're getting, as close as they're getting. Just try and keep them out of, out of range. Out of their range, at least. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how assiduously I should be collecting these, um, alien artifacts that are dropping. I know in theory they're going to be um, useful later when I want to start researching more powerful weapons, weird alien techs, that sort of thing. But at the moment, is it worth wandering out there and trying to pick them all up? Or are they just going to be something else to take up space in one of my um, warehouses? I don't know if I'm going to get later on I'm going to think, oh if only I had ten times as many alien artifacts then I'd be able to produce this and this and this and this. Or if it's just going to be, well, they're coming in thick and fast because the aliens are forever attacking. And I guess eventually I'll put in um, I'll put in a, a row of turrets with conveyor belts in front of them that just so the aliens as the aliens get slaughtered, it pulls the um, the artifacts in towards towards the base, and then there's something, and then passes them around a network of belts that can then just pick them up and shove them in chests. So I can wholesale the slaughter, as it were. But for now, let's go out here and pick some of these up because they're there. And I hate to leave resources unattended and wasted. Despite what I said in the last episode, when I um, put down all that, um, all those bricks as uh, <laughs> to cover the, um, to to use them up, empty the warehouse, and enable me to run around a bit quicker. Okay, so that's that's the defences sorted out again. I, I think and I hope. Cool, those bricks are building up fast. Let's get rid of some of these resources I'm carrying around with me. I don't really need any crushed jeevalite or jeevalite ore. It is nice having the base paved. It means I can run around it a bit quicker and, well, it sort of looks nice. Sort of. Okay, that'll do for now. So, for my next trick. Ah, yes, I was going to automate um, building the, the crushers and the sorters, wasn't I? So the first step of that is to pick up all of this wall that I put down in an earlier episode. Because uh, I don't, because now it's in the way. Maybe some of these trees need to go as well. Now, is there room? Yes, I think there is still room over here on the right to carry on building stuff, so I'm going to do that for now. And that, of course, means Lumberjack Simulator once again. So in order to automate the uh, crushers and the sorters, I'm going to need to build all the various different eras of them. So I need to start off with the um, the, the uh, burner, in the case of the crushers, then the Mark 1s, then the Mark 2s. So it's maybe a somewhat fiddly process, and it might require a lot of different resources and ingredients. Oh, I'm going to need to bring the... Um, the clay bricks down here as well, that's going to be another vital component to add to the bus, at least for these um, particular for these particular machines. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. I made these for a reason, didn't I? And these still aren't powerful enough to take out a tree with a single grenade. That's definitely something worth researching. Stronger explosives. Give. Shame I have the uh, stronger explosives aren't actually strong enough to take out the cliffs. But cliff explosives are, I don't know how far down the chain. Oh, not too far, but I suspect getting the um, 
resources to make them is going to be a bit more challenging. As far as I... in vanilla, I think you need sulphur for explosives. And if this is the same, then that's going to mean I'm going to need to get oil processing up and running first. And oil processing, I've heard, I've heard the horror stories. I've experienced a little bit of the horror stories as well, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, I can see that's going to be a challenge. Okay, let's get these bricks on the bus. Where's the best place to come through? Probably up here where the rest of the metals are. I can smell delicious cake. So yeah, I discovered today that um, the, uh, the fruit tree in the garden, which has been producing a mixture of apples, pet grapes, uh, that's the wrong place, which has been producing a mixture of apples, grapes, and apparently now blackberries as well, um, had lots of fruit ready for the picking. So um, I went out and had a bit of a picking frenzy, and it turns out that means that um, it's time to. It also means it's time to make cakes. So that's an excellent um, side effect of that. 1600 bloody hell that's where all the resources let's cut that down a bit to um like 400 300 oh yeah it was underneath these i wanted there we go um yeah so it turns out if you go out and pick all the um fruit from the garden that uh, suddenly cakes will be made i uh, should have done it much sooner so yeah that, that's why i can um, now smell uh, apple and cinnamon cake that's just been just getting finished off it does smell really good so right for this i'm just going to come straight down here climb up these cliffs like that and then come round. In fact, basically you go round them like this. This was one of the reasons I wanted the yellow belts because that is so much easier than trying to get past um, massive cliffs with only a, a t two underground belt to, to do it with. That was not very. Let's just say it wasn't very easy. And I picked up far too many of these yellow belts. And now I guess at some point I can start thinking about upgrading the grey ones to. Um, to, to yellow everywhere is just my standard belt of choice but I'm not really sure oh it's only tin and I do have a lot of tin coming through so that probably would be okay but for now for the bus I think I'll stick with the um, with the grey ones at least until it becomes a problem then I'll go through and upgrade in, uh, one 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 component at a time to, to use the, uh, the yellow ones what I will do here I think is split them up into sixes like this and the reason for this is if I leave a gap of two between each of these rows then it means I can um, I can just hop them with uh, using the yellow underground belts in order to get from one side of the in order to get across the um, the bus rather than having to put all of these underneath these in all the way along here which is it feels a bit of a mess like I did here in fact but better right so my next plan is as I said to uh, to build all these crushers and and ore sorters so let's see what does that mean stone gears and furnaces okay stone isn't a problem that's on the bus gears comes from iron furnaces furnaces are made with stone I think yes okay so I'm gonna need stone over here that's it simple enough so if this one makes furnaces I need one here to take those and then another one here to make the gears crushers and I want do I care what's in the next tier if I put this here this can make the Mark 1 crushers, and that needs bricks. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Yes, there probably is. Put that there, and you make the Mark 1s. Okay, so I do actually need both of these over here then. Let's bring that across there. And then from here, if I have a belt going like that, then that will bring the uh, the burners to the Mark 1s, and then the Mark 1s to the Mark 2s. Although they might... What, what does a Mark... Yeah. What does a Mark II require? Steel gears, clay bricks, steel plates. Okay, let's put that now. Let's put that on a on a level further down, like that, and that. So this one down here needs to be bricks and steel. I think was that right? Oh no, clay bricks and steel. Yes. And this massive great lump of cliff faces in the way. Let's investigate getting past it. In fact, I could probably bring this out here. And this one out here like that okay that looks good I think S steel gears yes all crushers are coming from above clay bricks and steel great that wasn't too bad actually I know it's probably famous last words but <laughs> for now I'll take it I got rid of all my oh, I didn't get rid of all my wood oh I chopped a load of tree this trees down since so it's the usual put it and put it all in a box for later put those along there and then one then in between I think that should work. Um, oh no, there's no iron for just this one. 
Okay. Need stone as well. Okay. No problem. <laughs> so my logic of how to make all this was absolutely fine, except that I just forgot to put a load of the inserts in. So pretty much normal. Right. So that's the um, that's the crushers. Next thing is ore sorters. Now I think this is going to be a very similar sort of thing in that tier one requires the top ingredients, tier two requires the bottom ingredients. So we've got iron gear, stone bricks, circuit boards as well, okay, and iron plate. Okay, yep, that's fine. What sort of circuit boards does it require? Right, so the first one requires basic circuit boards, the second one requires basic electronics boards. What we've got here, this is the both of them, isn't it? Because you require you require circuit, you require electronic. I don't really want to do the, well, I suppose I could. No, let's um Let's do this properly. So if I have that and that, and then on the right I only want to have the basic circuit boards, which is that one. Take those. I can then do this. I've forgotten the old ways of playing Factorio. Right, a uh, long handle inserter, that goes there. So that works like that. Perfect. That comes along there. So you're going to be iron gears. You're going to be sorting facility. This also needs the uh, slightly less basic circuit boards, also known as basic electronics boards. Um, and I think steel. Where am I going? I don't have those automated yet. That's another thing to automate. Power poles. So I don't think I do. Did I automate those? If I seem a bit vague about all this... Oh, I did automate them. They're up here. If I seem a bit vague about all this, it's because I've been on holiday since I last did any recording, so everything's a bit... If I'm being honest, it's all a bit hazy and I've forgotten what I did um, in the previous episodes. Okay, why are you not building? What have you not got? You've not got ore crushers. Why are you not building? You've not got... You've not got iron. Why are you not building? You've not got cogs. <laughs> That's a lot of burner ore inserters. Uh, burner ore crushers building up along there. Good. Right. This all seems to be working... Uh, quite well so far. I haven't actually made any any of these yet. Oh, steel gear. Oh, okay. I'll take it back. It's not working yet. <laughs> there we go. Once again, I don't really care about the speed that these systems run at. As long as there's always enough for me to come along and grab them when I need them, that's absolutely fine. I notice these clay bricks have run out. Why is that? Is there a problem or is it just a slow production process? That's gone red. Why is that gone red? This isn't making things. I'm not getting any clay through. Why am I not getting any clay through? You're backed up on your outputs. Oh, these also seem to produce mud or something, or soil, or whatever that brown stuff is. I had not realised that. I thought it was just water all the way down. Okay, looks like I'm going to be putting up another, um, hoping to put up another warehouse, but not. Oh, uh, where can I get iron uh, steel from? Here. Okay, and bricks. Oh, I'll just get them from here. It's easier. Warehouse. That, I think, is the big difference with Angel Bobs. There's so many things that produce extra... I'm going to say side effects, for want of a better word, that you don't... So there's everything will produce something that you don't want, it seems. In this case, it's... What is that even? Mud. I'm sure mud is very useful, but at the moment, not so much. Uh, where's that warehouse I built? There it is. On the plus side... At the inevitable point in the future where I do need mud, I'm going to have a lot of it. What is mud even used for, anyway? Oh, I can add it to water to make viscous mud water. Or I can make landfill, that's promising. I think that's probably a plant. That's definitely a plant. Zombie eucalyptus, great. Or I can make soil. Bioplastic. That's Bioplastic sounds useful. Again, plants. It looks like it's just for growing stuff, really. Or this one, the visco viscous mud water. Is this... And it's made in a, a liquefier or a chemical plant. Those are both possible things. Vis and viscous mud water comes out here. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. I can just loop it back in at the beginning again with some water if I mix it with some water. Uh, liquefier, wasn't it? The two of them because I'm going to have quite a lot of mud. Liquefier. Mm, I should put it. It's going to need water to come to it. So I put it one, put them like that. Then I can uh, move that up a tile. That up tile two. There. Then I need long inserters there. I'll just put them there and there. Comes across. Th no, comes across there. That power pole actually wants to be there. Wow, uses that up quite quickly. <laughs> now I think 
I need to have a control in here to prevent mud being dug up from the bottom of the ocean if I need it to come out of those machines. Uh, what sort of valves have I got? One way, overflow, non-return, top up. That sounds like what I want. And I think I need a tank as well for this. Let's make two tanks actually. I'll put one on either side of it. Tank there, tank there, that there. That's filling up, that's full. And then I need that valve I made, that one. Yes, I'm being very careful to make sure I put it in the way around. Have I messed that up? One, two, three. No, I don't think I have. So there's just some way to, you can obviously run over those valves if they're not there. That's possibly, possibly convenient. Because that's... They're still full of mud. I think I'm going to need some sort of... Okay, they are. these are all empty. It's just these two that are still full of mud because they're at the uh, top of the chain. I wonder if this is going to be... Basically, I wonder if there's... Um, how much more extra mud I need to pull in this system before it can all just clear it out. Uh, that sentence didn't make any sense. What I mean is, is this system now capable of keeping itself going? I mean, you'd expect so, wouldn't you? You'd think that the amount of mud that's pulled out, you can't just put it all back in again and run it through and actually create mud out of nowhere. It's got to come from, it's got to come from somewhere, so that's this supply from the bottom of the lake. That seems fine, just at the moment. <laughs> I've got more than I know what to do with. Let's put in a box of mud here and have an inserter. Have this inserter unloading it onto the belt if there's no other mud available. Just to get rid of it, really. Because I don't want to be carrying the mud around with me. Now, to be fair, they do seem to be using it up as fast as it's coming in. And that fits with what I'd expect. Tank's both full, that's fine. This mud is going down as well. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This looks like it's sustainable. My bricks are starting to come back out again at the bottom here. Yes, you can walk past the, past the valves, it turns out. Or maybe it's the small tanks. Either way. Right, these bricks are coming through. They're not coming through particularly quickly, which is a bit of a shame, but I don't know what sort of rate I'm really going to need them at. I want to go out and upgrade all of the machines. I'm not going to need the bricks for a while. It's not It's not something like science where I need it all the time. Like the steel that's being put into, these, into this ammunition, if I start researching weapons, is going to be needed all the time. And steel is in use everywhere, of course. So what have I got here now? I've got nine in there, and I've got two in there. It's not a great number, but let's go and start upgrading stuff anyway. That one doesn't need upgrading. That runs so little, it can it can stick with. To be honest, it could probably be a burner into a uh, burner crusher. This these two these ones are actually okay as far as I can tell. The tin is not being used particularly quickly. Iron is, but they're keeping it well in hand. They're um, there's no problems there. Okay, so it quite literally is just the Jeevalite mine that's um, underperforming. Maybe I should set up another um, Steratite or Sapphirite, whichever one it is that produces iron. Stick in another um, Steratite mine and get that to um, and get that to produce the iron for my steel, since this one isn't really fast enough. That's Mark II, Mark II, Mark II. They're all upgraded, and these only that one is. Oh, they are slightly different. These have got blue, a blue bit along the front. Oh, and that's a blue bit along the top, maybe? Yeah, they are... S okay, so the Mark IIs do look slightly different, but only very slightly. They're being kept adequately fed by these belts. I could have almost twice as many on there. That might be the answer, actually. Another three of these. Now, of course, they won't be able to feed onto this belt. Oh, the... <laughs> okay, I need to, need to upgrade these ones as well, by the looks of it, because they're not getting through the slag heap fast enough. That's backing up horrifically. I don't think I'm shoveling it out quickly enough. Oh dear, I've broken everything. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. This needs some improvement in order to get more inserters. Actually, how do, can I get faster inserters? Can I make faster inserters? Yes, but they require bronze. Okay. How do I make bronze? How do I spell bronze? Bronze is made out of molten bro bronze, and that is literally the only way. And that's made out of copper and tin in a induction furnace and I haven't <laughs> researched bronze smelting yet okay I need tin smelting and copper smelting first let's do those then and these are what oh these, these are just yet yeah. oh yeah yellow is the basic one okay so let's get that let's get those researched and then I can start thinking about bronze then I can start thinking about sorry I can start thinking about smelting then I can start thinking about bronze then I can start thinking about whatever it was I was thinking about earlier uh, oh yeah faster inserters I don't suppose there are any other better inser inserter speed bonuses um, I can pick up. Inserter capacity bonus, more inserter rotation option. I need, I need blue science for that. That's going to be some way off, I imagine. 
and those are all done. Right, so I need to, I need to need to research blue science in order to get that. Uh, okay, just out of curiosity, how do you make blue science? <laughs> okay, first I need to research blue science. I don't even know what that's going to be called. It's not going to be called blue, is it? No. Oh, it'll be under science, I guess. Here we go. Chemical science pack needs. Uh, okay, to make them requires sulfur engines, red circuits, and sodium hydroxide. Yeesh. I take back what I said about the um, science packs being relatively straightforward. I wonder what the, late, I wonder what the hardest ones require. Oh, maybe they're not hard. These are all all gated behind blue, not behind each other. So um, we've got logistics, production, and utility. I there's lots of exciting things in there. I've no idea what any of them need. Okay, let's work. Let's let's stay working on this um, gradually, and we'll pick up the tin smelting and then the copper smelting, and maybe and um, we'll see if iron smelting is useful as well. Maybe there's um, better ways to make make the uh, make the things I need. And now, yeah, so steel production is. Is still oh it's it's keeping up with what the base is demanding but that might be because the base isn't being particularly demanding iron is coming through at a rate we're dealing with this is yeah this is this is running free again now so that's all right still able to deal with all of that up there oh lead was the other thing I was going to okay let's go in and put a um a lead warehouse in uh, no a coal warehouse because that way where is the storage stuff in this here we go is there a coal silo yes now what makes a silo different from a warehouse, apart from the size and the cost of construction? So that's 768 for 100 bricks and 50 steel. 10 steel, I can get 256. Okay, these are quite a lot cheaper on the steel front. Ah, tin smelting's done. And I wanted bronze, which also means I mean copper. Start that one. Okay, so I'm going to put in this um, coal silo as another proxy in the same way I did with the... Um, the other ones in order to just basically pull the coal out of this um, mine a bit faster so that the tin comes out too. I suppose what I should actually be doing is going off looking for actual other rubite repositories. Oh, I've got a warehouse, let's use that instead. So, as I remember, the way to do this is to have a splitter here, belts like that, more electric poles, and I'm going to pick up all the ones I've been building automatically. It's a faff making them by hand. Oh, I could do some more grenades as well, even if they're right down here. At least that way I get 150 of them. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I've got enough inserters for this. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's the problem. It's just not coming through fast enough. So, if I come along here, I go one, two, three, four, seven, eight, and across there, and then output across there, and down there. Then I need power for all of this stuff, like that, and then join it to my grid. And here we go, it starts pulling in coal at a massive rate, and outputting it at the same rate in order to keep the belt going as it was before. Actually the coal is already going through at quite a rate. I'm um this is probably isn't going to make that much of a difference. Let's see how it goes. Right, okay, here here is part of the problem. I'm just not respecting that um rubite coming through from down here. That's getting completely sidelined. And to be honest, the same here, let's link those with a splitter instead. Right, that should make everything a bit fairer. And I just hope there's enough um coal coming through to keep that satisfied as well. Uh, let's take out some of these. It's a bit scary how quickly I've got through all of that. I think I might be going off looking for um, rubite patches sooner than I realised, sooner than I expected. Okay, I've got a bit of a, and I've got a bit of a buffer of coal building up here as well, which will be nice for um, to ensure that the power doesn't go down. But wow, look at all that lead that's going to be coming out here. That's fantastic. And I know I keep saying that about things, but yeah, it's it's good when the, when the resources are coming through a bit more um, quickly and efficiently. I just don't want all these. Oh, 77. There's 200 there, 200 there. 60. Yeah, there's massive quantities of coal. Well, decent quantities of coal, thousands. But can I tell from the map? 100, uh, 140,000 and 900 rubite. Yeah, I need to think about going out and um, finding more rubite, which means I need to be able to fight the biters on their own territory. So some coal there, that's good. I can feed that one quite fairly easily. But as it is, I mean, yeah, sure, I can, I can um, turret creep their, their bases, but I'd like to be able to be a bit more dangerous than that. And now that they've evolved spitters, I don't even know if I can do that anymore. What other weaponry can I research? It's going to make make this bit e a bit easier. What's that cargo robots, nice. That seems quite early. What does this get me? Ooh, this is very exciting. I'm going to have to have a look into that because I've been 
complaining about wanting bots for ages. Turrets too, how expensive are they? They need steel. Uh, they might be a bit better, I don't know. What have we got here? Projectile damage, weapon shooting speed, those would be good. Explosives. I was expecting when I got Grey Science that there'd be a lot of just some there'd be some better weapons available. And maybe there are and they're just gated behind things at the moment. Ooh. I don't know what any either of those do. I'm gonna need to do some research at some point and find out what all of these things are. Railway, that'd be nice. Get some trains up and running. Where's uh, where's railway one? Oh, I've practically got that. It's going to be a lot of steel, but I've got a bit of steel, so yeah. I think, and if I, yeah, if I'm going to start building mines away from the base centre, I'm going to start needing trains. So I'm going to have to look into that. Where's all the weapons? All the stuff that where's all the stuff that requires grey science? Oh, here we go. Here's some things like a laser rifle. That sounds good. What do I need for that? Many, many things, including pla loaded battery. Okay. Uh, Explosives, that's again is don't get behind that. Turret three. What do I need for a turret three? Brass. <laughs> An invar as well. Okay. Robotic drone attack drones, flame throwers, laser turret. For lasers one. Again a lot of stuff. It's a big old tech tree. Maybe that's why all this stuff is so far down. Because it's difficult. Better shotgun shells, nice and descriptive. I think okay, let's get turrets two for now, because that's something I can Turrets 2. Uh, well, when the Vance bronze smelting is finished, anyway. I'll get turrets 2. That'll make, mean I can make some slightly tougher turrets, and my turret creep will be a bit less dangerous for the turrets. And oh, I'll get the. Uh, I'll pick up the um, the uh, better projectile damage and the shooting speed. Those will um, also help. And I guess we'll um, then then we'll have to go out exploring and looking for rubite. Of course, it's red on the map, so it could be any of any. <laughs> all of these biter bases look like a deposit of rubite. Uh, okay, I think at this point. It's been just over an hour. I've, been, I've done some faffing around though, so I'll probably speed this um, episode up by quite a, by a bit more than usual. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it here. I can't remember what episode number this has been, but um, if I feel like it's been, I don't know, has it been productive? I built some dragon's teeth over here. I bug fixed this smelting system here. Built up some faster crushers and and sorters down here, and I've started using them. And I've, I feel like I faffed quite a lot with this with this whole Jeevalite refinery area. I don't know whether it's made that much of a difference. The steel is more or less coming out fast enough. That has gone down since I last looked, um, but that I think is because I went in and grabbed all of these um, pylons and they require steel to replenish. I've noticed that tin's up and... Oh, I've got some more power. Hopefully improved the uh, lead, although by improved I mean, I mean just sort of sped up the inevitable running out of the red stuff. If you're a little disappointed by this episode, then I do apologise, and I'll try and do something a bit more exciting in the next one. Um, as I say, I'm going to try and get some better weaponry, and then I can go out looking for that, looking for more rubite. I think trains are high on my list of things to do, and trains are good fun, so I'll, I'll enjoy getting them up and running. Um, and I'll have to sort of practice my killing of biters as well, see if I can do that a bit more lethally. Maybe if I take out a stack of the um, armour-piercing ammunition, that'll make enough of a difference to make the turret really lethal. Um, and maybe maybe a sniper turret and a normal turret as well. Lots of fun things to be had, and we'll see where it goes in the next episode. Thank you for watching. 